Hello everybody, it's Soul here. My player home bits were greeted with the most praise due to my obsession with in-depth explanation combined with my noticeable excitement and love for the mods. So, I've decided I'll be primarily doing home reviews. I figured that I should do something kind of different for my first mod showcase in a long while, and this is the result of that choice. To start us off, I'd like to introduce the ENB I'll be using, Skyrim SE Reengaged. It's not super obvious just how much this ENB changes because it's mostly color balancing and sharpness. It's nothing too hefty, but wow does it bring a ton of vividity and life to the world around you when you turn it on after looking at the dull, faded world of Skyrim in the original graphics. With the ENB out of the way, let's sit down and talk about the house, er, hole, that I've chosen. While not often their style to settle down in one spot for too long, some adventurers like the idea of a small, secluded place to rest their legs like they don't have a care in the world, an acutely out-of-the-way location that they can call home sweet home. Or in this case, well sweet well, because, well, the well-made player home for today is simply called, uh, the well. So yeah. Good job, Jasper the Gnome. Upon first contact, you're met with a rundown heap of trash surrounded by the remains of what one can assume used to be a structure. You can fix this up by simply going up to the well and activating it to clean it up. The screen will fade, time will pass, and then you'll be greeted with a significantly cleaner building grounds. But we're not through yet. Laying around and inside the well are construction crates used to refurbish and refurnish this new bit of fixed up property. A full completed well uses a lot of materials, and stick with me here, I'm going to list them all off. One common soul gem, 24 corundum ore, 14 dwarmer scrap metal, 1 fire salt, 76 firewood, 1 frost salts, 4 glass, 2 gold ore, 1 grand soul gem, 2 hinges, 6 iron ingots, 20 leather strips, 10 linen wraps, 1 lock, 156 nails, 10 steel ingots, 4 troll fat, and 1 vampire dust. <sighs> Jeez. Luckily there's a chest with all the required components you can get to by no clipping through the ground right next to the well, so good luck with that. The first thing to be done is building up the outside. To do this, simply activate the crate next to the chopping block twice. The first time it's done, a cold storage area is built. The second time, a small station for smelting and farming. Once there's an adequate area above ground carved out, a wooden chopping block, a smelter pot, a reclosable hotbed with five planters, a few ingredients in fertile soil, some firewood storage, takeable pickaxe and woodcutter's axe, and a cold storage will be available to you. It's getting absolutely frigid out here in this blizzard. So let's climb down into the well. Creating the entrance is as easy as activating the crate on top of the well. Once that's done, just hop into the trap door. Once inside, you'll definitely notice how barren and tiny the space is. Trust me, it gets much, much better. Simply use the broom to clean up and then start building using the crates like what was done above ground. There are eight sections in this well with a few more individual cells to construct. On the right side of the first section, we have the enchanting station. This includes an arcane enchanter, soul gem storage, enchantment hanger, and scroll storage. On the left is alchemy. You have your alchemical ingredients, an alchemy lab, and your potions and ingredients. To note, there is also a shrine of Julianos that you can activate for heightened magicka in this section. The next section is the sleeping area. There's a hammock that you can sleep on here, as well as a bedroll that can be taken out and put away at your convenience. Clothing, armor, and weapons are next. The storage here is a wardrobe, keys, a crate, a chest, weapons, a safe, and an auxiliary upper storage. The crafting station follows up with a whetstone, a workbench, an anvil, and some tanning tools. The storage here includes ores and ingots, pelts and linen, and leather. There's also some fertile soil here you can use to grow stuff and things. A shrine of Kinnereth also rests here for a boost in stamina. Up next is the library. Jasper kept this cell pretty simple with a simple sack and pillows as well as a small book storage above it. I really like how he went about this specific area. I personally think it's extremely nice. Now it's time to cook up something in the kitchen. The tools you're given are a cooking pot, a stove, a baking oven, and a mortar. Your storage consists of baked goods, baking ingredients, drink storage, and food supplies. It is at this point I need to mention just how much Jasper has shoved into this well hole. It's crazy. Seriously. This next area is absolutely my favorite and the most photogenic area of the home, the treasure wall. This wall will display very specific items for all the you to see. It holds all of the Dragon Priest masks, including Mirak, Dawnbreaker, the Necromancer Amulet, Kynes Token, the Diadem of the Savant, the Dawnguard Rune Shield, and the Shield of Solitude. 
In addition to all of this absolutely amazing placement and utility, many things in this well can be turned on and off or changed, including the lanterns and pillows. I find this super small aspect makes you feel more at home because you can actively change things. While the selection isn't very large, it still gives it a bit more of a warm, cushy feeling. All in all, I absolutely love this player home. Jasper, you did an amazing job at fitting things so neatly into such a small place. It looks clean and it feels cozy without being claustrophobic. There's so much utility here that it can be a player's primary place of residence without relinquishing the essentials. Simply said, this player home is absolutely wonderful and I'd suggest it for anyone looking for a small, out of the way location to live in Skyrim Special Edition. And for me, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe for more and please share the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.